Just a fraction of the 705 MEPs were present in Brussels for a single day of the plenary, and only one topic of debate, COVID-19. The European Commission president, wearing protective gloves, said EU leaders should learn from the solidarity shown between neighbours. If there's one thing that is more contagious than this virus, it is love and compassion. And in the face of adversity, the people of Europe are showing how strong that can be. From luxury perfumers and vodka producers making sanitizing gel, to car makers and fashion house producing masks. Votes will take place via email on measures including stopping ghost flights, the investment initiative worth 37 billion euros, and access to a solidarity fund during public health emergencies. The centre-left is calling for bold measures such as the so-called corona bonds, but the idea of common debt issuance is not gaining traction across the political spectrum. We ask for a new Marshall Plan, for a common investment plan, financed by a common debt instrument that would contemplate the issuing of euro bonds. The activation of the European Stability Mechanism with a specified credit line without additional macroeconomic measures. Pragmatism first. Companies and people urgently need cash. The best way to proceed is to urge national central banks to provide credit at a zero interest rate. Bonds go to banks, but we need credit going straight to citizens and companies. This is not the final hurdle. All measures will also need the seal of approval of EU leaders. Joanna Gill, Euronews.